Welcome to the Dazwa Beats channel. I'm Dazwa Beats. Today, what we doing? One of my subscribers asked me. He said, "Yo, Dazwa, I have some 808s that don't have the key of what the 808 is in the title of whatever the 808 is." So he asked me how the easiest way to put it in key. All right. So I told I respond to him. I told him I said the best way to to do it if you have an 808 the best way is to try to put the 808 in the key of c once it's in the key of c you can play whatever if your song is in b you can play the regular b on here put the mpc inside the um what they call it the oh man what's the name of it you can go to pad perform and put your your song whatever your song is in if your song is in a you can put the make sure the 808 is in C, put it on pad perform, and then put the pad perform on A, right? And in the scale of A, and then you can play just like that because the, the 808 is in C, it will automatically go to A and play whatever is in. Alright, so I told him that's the best way. Make sure the 808 is in C. So I, we're gonna try to show him how to put the 808 in c the key is c right and that way he can use it in any any other key that the song is in that he's making all right so let's go let's get it we're going to the software all right let's go all right now we need to find the 808 let's come right here search 808s let's go to the samples scroll down let's use this one for instance this one don't have the key on there if you notice this doesn't have a key on there either so we'll drag it in we don't know what the key is the mpc actually tells you what the key is if you go to sample edit right if you go to sample edit it tells you what the key is right here sample edit is up here right it'll tell you what the key is is in d major we don't want that in d major we want to put it in c so we can put it in whatever we want to in our song right we want to keep this in C. So this is in D, but we're trying to get it to C. What I like to do is let's go to a key group program, right? Right here. And we're going to drop it inside of a key group program. You come right here. Here go the sample right here. Now it's inside the key group program. Now we can play it across our keyboard or we can play it across our pad, right? All right, so I'm going to go to C4 because we want it in C, right? We want the 808 to be in C. So here goes C4. We're going to play a C4 right here. And we're going to play a C4 right here. So what you can do now is go to your tuner, which is here. Tools, tuner. And the tuner, the MPC told us is in D. So the tuner should tell us that it's in D. Let's hit play and see what happened. First, let's drag the notes out. Let's drag this note out. Now let's play it. Now let's see. Let's bring the tuner back up. Tools. Tuner. And we suggested the, the MPC told us it was in D, right? And it is in D. So what you need to do now, since it's in D, we need to bring it to C. Remember, we was here at C. This is where we was at. But the MPC is telling us it's in D, which is right here. What we need to do is go over to one. We need to go one, two. Right? We need to go over two to the left. So you'll come right here to semi and put it on negative two. Negative two. That should take it from D and bring it to C. All right. Let's test that and see if it work. I don't. It should work. Let's make sure it work. All right, so it is in C, you put it in C. But if you notice, look again. The red line is all the way over here. We need to get the red line closer to this right here, to the center, right? 
Now, if once it hit, look, it's hitting over here in the 30s, negative 30. All right. So to fix that, to bring it closer to here, that's when the fine come in. Remember, it was hitting at negative 30. So we need to move it to the right to positive 30 to take it from negative and bring it to the positive, which is right here. Bring it over 30. Let's start. Oops, past 30. Uh, let's do 34 right now it should bring that that red line bring it in the middle and make it green all right so let's check that out go back to your tuner now the line after it hit it should mess around somewhere around this area all right let's play it and check it That's close enough. All right, that's fine. Now your now your your 808 is in the key of C, and no matter what your song is, once you go to pad perform mode, you can put it in. Once you're in pad perform mode, you can put your root in whatever you want to put it in because your sample now is in the key of C, and you can play it. So that's A right now. All right, it's a little bit high. So that's an A. E. C. All right, so that way you can pl put play your, your, your 808 and whatever you want. Just put it in pad perform. The 808 is already in C and it will be in key. All right, that's how you do it in the key group program. Now we're going into the drum program and I'm going to show you how to do it in the drum program. So let's go back to our, let's delete these. All right. Now let's go to a drum program right here. Let's drag this and put it on pad A1. All right. What I like to do is go to 16 levels. Because that's what we're going to play it in the 16 levels, right? Take this right here. Make sure it normally say A4. Yours might say A4. I like to put mine on A1. Right? That's the original key right here. A1. Let's bring the path perform back to A. Alright. We got it in A. Let's put one right here again on A1 right there and let's hear it it should go back to the d because remember it's the original sample again so let's put the tuner back on this and let's listen all right so it's back to the d we're all the way down to 30. so to do it inside the drum program what you want to do is go to um warp sample or come right here to the wave on the hardware you'll go to warp sample and right here now here go the same semi right here if you want to drop it down you're going to see a change from D once I bring it down we're going to change it oops if we go to negative 2 now I say C right so now the 808 is in C it should be in C so let's go back to the uh tuner tuner let's play there it goes in c but again you see it's over here so then you got to do the 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 fine the fine again right so to to find the fine you'll come right here right you'll come right here to program edit the wave and the fine is right here again all right so you'll put it over to the 38 or 34 or whatever we had it let's do 30 and then when we go back home take it off a wave let's do the tool let's do the tuner now it should be the C and it should hit in here in the middle somewhere all right let's go Let's
that's close enough that's close enough right so that's how you do it that's how you put tune your 808 to c and then you can use it on anything if you put it in pad perform if you have the mpc key 37 or the mpc key 61 you can come to the keyboard control put it on um instead of as played you put it on snap to scale and whatever your scale is on which is right here we can put it on anything now you can put it on d or we can put it on f right and anything we play on the key is going to be in the key of f you dig so you're good to go all right so that's how you put your 80 tune your 808 to c so you can use it in any whatever you have your song in whatever key your song is in once you tune the 808 to c you can play it put it in the perform mode for the key group program or put it in the scale and you're good to go all right thank y'all for watching man that was just a real quick video just helping somebody out man i appreciate everybody for you know what i mean conversing with me leaving comments i respond to everybody man all right let's go let's get it catch y'all in the next one turn it up let's go